Uh, the second group of these uh, active galaxies, or galaxies with active galactic nuclei, are radio galaxies. They are typically elliptical galaxies, uh, and they emit radio waves uh, from uh, 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 the galactic center and from the regions outside the galaxy, so-called radio lobes. So here is the photograph of one such uh, radio galaxy, NGC 4261. You can see the elliptical galaxy here, right? But what is colored here are these so-called radio lobes, the regions outside the volume of the galaxy from which we receive intense radio waves. Now, I pointed out that when we talked about the Milky Way, that the, at the very core of the Milky Way, uh, there is uh, a source of radio waves, so-called Sagittarius A star, right? But the intensity of these radio waves produced by Sagittarius A star is nothing compared to the intensity of uh, uh, radio waves coming from radio galaxies. If somebody uh, in space was observing Milky Way in, at radio wavelengths, he would not notice uh, the radio uh, emission from um, uh, the very center of our galaxy. That is not the case of, uh, with the um, um, uh, radio galaxies. And here there is a blow up of the central region that I'll return to uh, later on. Uh, it turns out that uh, uh, the only way to explain uh, this intense uh, radiation, either at visual or radio waves or x-rays, is if these active galaxies have at their cores super, super massive black hole, right? We said that based on uh, the speed with which stars and the gas and dust in the Milky Way revolve around the center of our galaxy, one can, uh, by applying the third Kepler's law as formulated by Newton, one can deduce that the mass of the central object in the Milky Way is four million solar masses. So something that massive can only be a uh, black hole. In the case of these guys, these active galaxies, and remember, active galaxies are only tiny percentage of all galaxies, uh, there is also a black hole, but it's much more massive than the one at the center of the Milky Way. These black holes have masses of several hundred, hundred million solar masses, or even billion solar masses. Okay? So, many orders of magnitude more massive than the black hole at the heart of the Milky Way. 